Thanks, Kwanzaa. I'm Matt DeFonzo here for another edition of Sports with the Fonz. A maximum of five local girls volleyball teams could still be playing in the New Jersey State Playoffs come November 7th, with Chatham, Dayton, Kent Place, Milburn, New Providence, and Oak Knoll all qualifying for state tournament play this season. Now, if you're doing the math at home, you'll notice there are six local schools who made the postseason for girls volleyball this year. But New Prov and Dayton will be playing each other in the first round of the tournament, which means that only one of them can advance. That's why a maximum of five teams can be playing by November 7th. So let's write the number of teams up here real quick as we go through. Volleyball, that gives us six teams in the playoffs. Now, while six area teams making the playoffs for girls volleyball is impressive, it's just a fraction of the total number of local soccer teams who qualified for postseason play. Okay, so I'm combining girls and boys teams when I tell you that 15 total soccer teams from the hometown TV area made the postseason, but that's still a lot of teams. So now soccer, we're going to write a 15, because 15 boys and girls combined soccer teams made the playoffs. Now of that group of 15, both the Milburn boys and Oratory Prep earned the number one seeds in their sections. The Millers will face Franklin in the first round of North 2 Group 4 play on November 3rd, while Oratory receives a bye in the first round and will play either Eastern Christian or Montclair Kimberly in the second round of non-public North B on November 6th. And we'll also soon find out which local high school teams make the playoffs in football this year. The seeds for the 2014 state tournaments on the gridiron will be set on Sunday, November 9th. But we don't know it yet, so football, we're going to draw a big question mark because we don't know how many teams made it yet. If you'd like to learn more about New Jersey high school football, I'd suggest hopping on your computer and going to highschoolsports.nj.com, which is also the site I use for much of the information in this newscast. That does it for me here on Sports with the Fonz. Sorry it was a little short, but I got something good planned for a couple weeks from now. Please tune in again next week for more on the local high school sports teams. Now let's go back to the news desk with Kwanzaa.